Hi, I'm Andy White, and we're here with Shiv Rajendran. Um, Shiv, you're presenting for the Preston BSIG Summer Symposium. Uh, what are you presenting on? I'm presenting on Business English in Virtual Worlds. So it's we've been teaching Business English in Virtual Worlds for about six years now. Mm -hmm. So it's just an overview of who's been using it, what the student demographic is like, what they're learning, and why they choose to do it in this way rather than any other way. Okay, and by virtual world, do you mean Second Life? I do mean Second Life, okay. yes. Okay, and uh, you're very involved in that, correct? Yes, I've been teaching exclusively, well, we've been teaching exclusively in Second Life mm -hmm. for, this is our sixth year, so since 2005 to okay. now, and we've had about 3,000 students in that time. Wow. Okay, so you just got, you get business, or people who want to learn business English, uh -huh. and they sign up through your... Uh, how does that work? Isn't Second Life open to everybody? It, not our bit. So we've mm -hmm. got a little private area of Second Life, which is about mm -hmm. 20 islands or so, and it's mm -hmm. fenced off. And the only way to get in is through our website, languagelab.com. So okay. students usually search for Business English or English mm -hmm. and Google, find mm -hmm. us, join up, and land directly in our reception area mm -hmm. and miss the rest of Second Life. So they don't really know Second Life is there. They just know it's this 3D software. Okay, so you, you've got your own little world in Absolutely, Second Life. Absolutely, our own fenced off area. All right, and what kind of things do you do there in, in, on your islands? Uh, a lot. So we've built a whole city out and it's got you know bars, cafes, houses, everything you find in a real city, mm -hmm. and it's all designed. The all can do statements in the Common European Framework. There's a okay. space to role play each of those statements. Okay. So every single one, so you can cover all the language areas you need to cover. Um, so that's really well organized. It is, yeah. Okay. It's a lot of work. So our teachers, most of them, instead of teaching in a traditional sense, they play characters in the city. So one's a bank manager, one's a bus driver, one's everything, hairdresser, mm -hmm. taxi driver. And they never come out of character. Do you have a bouncer? I'd like to be a bouncer. Oh, well, that can be your character. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right, so the teachers take on those roles, and yeah. the students are, yeah. And they effectively come in and spend time immersed in this world where everybody speaks English, and they have a second life, if you like, okay. and do different things. All right, and how do you give students feedback? Um, it varies. So in addition to what I just told you, there are formal classes, which will look like a typical CELTA ah, class. Okay. Right. Um, but um, the more popular thing is a role play. So they correct the way a native speaker would correct. And it's not, and there is actually written feedback and a lot of different mechanisms for giving feedback. So a teacher may stop and correct a student, mm -hmm. or actually will stop and correct a student. So it's not quite exactly like being in a uh, real city, but it's as close to it as you can get while, okay. while teaching. All right, and is it is that, do people communicate? So students and teachers, they communicate through... Uh, audio, or is it text chat, or is it a mixture? It's, it's a mixture, but it's primarily voice, so you can't take part unless you've got a headset and you can okay. talk to people. Um, but after a while they start using both, so the important things happen through voice, and then the correction might actually happen by text, or lots right. of minor points might happen by text. And is this for business English, or general English, or...? It's a lot of things. So we do general English, uh, exam preparation, which is mostly IELTS, and business English. Okay. And we've got actually coming out Aviation English, energy industry English, so we built a giant oil rig offshore and there's oil and gas training going on. Wow. There's a big hospital where we do medical English training, okay. which is an exact replica of a hospital. So there's there's a lot going on, it's quite a big city. Alright, do you get to create these worlds yourself or I don't anymore. Five years ago I did, but now right. there's a sort of team dedicated to building the All city right. and so stuff. So you've on. expanded then? We are. I mean there's about sixty staff now in total. Wow. Yeah. Okay, well, congratulations. It sounds Thank like you. it's been a huge success. Yeah. Alright, and what was the name of your website where you can get in? It's languagelab.com. Languagelab.com. Okay, it sounds really interesting. Um, yeah, I'd like to check it out. Um, I have, I have one, one final question. Um, for Business English, presentations. Yeah. Do you have students giving their own presentations? Yes. Mm -hmm. So... We have, this happens in a lot of ways. Students can organise their own events and give us presentations on whatever the subject they like, mm. so it's their peer-reviewed. There are classes and courses where this take part, or they can get a job in the city in a company that has a marketing department or a finance department, and mm. as part of that job, they'll end up doing a presentation. So Excellent. we try to simulate the real world as much as we can. Excellent. Yeah, it sounds, uh, it sounds really good. It sounds really interesting. So get me a job as a bouncer and I I'll certainly will. chuck some drunk businessmen out. Okay. All right. <laughs> Thanks a lot for, for sitting down and sharing. And um, we'll be back later with more interviews for you. Thanks.